Throughout the animal kingdom, everywhere we look, there's beauty to be found in the simplest of designs. From tiny birds' nests of leaves and twigs to the complex underground metropolises of insects, nature has an astonishing array of architects and engineers at its disposal. Although us humans have honed our homes throughout thousands of years of evolution, from mud huts to towering skyscrapers, the ingenious ingenuity of the animal kingdom remains relatively unchanged. And as the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. From termite mounds that tower like cathedrals to the most beautiful bird nests on the planet, here's the 15 most amazing homes built by animal architects. That is a trapdoor spider. Now, these spiders are amazing. All right, what better way to begin this incredible architectural adventure into the animal world than with one of the most particular avian engineers of all time, the sociable weaver. As a whole, the weaver is one of the most widely found birds on Earth, but this particular offshoot has a penchant for designing an astonishing home, and the sociable weavers have become an icon of interior design. While all weaver nests are impressive in their own right, the nest of the sociable weaver bird is one of the most incredible and eye-catching examples in all of nature, and it's so well constructed that a typical nest will exist for entire generations, even housing our species throughout its lifetime. Sociable weaver birds, which are widely related to finches, are found pretty much everywhere in sub-Saharan Africa and are found in incredibly abundant numbers throughout most of South Africa. And in most cases, typical weaver birds can assemble an entire nest in as little as a day. But the sociable weaver takes much longer as entire colonies of their nests are stuck together, resembling a huge hairy stack of thorns and bristles. They're large enough to house over 100 pairs of birds, spanning several generations at a time. Yeah, these things are built to last. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Ancient Termite Civilization while they may seem pretty inconsequential to us humans, when it comes to building nests and ecosystems, insects are some of the most prolific engineers and architects in the entirety of the animal kingdom. Take termites, for instance, who are most often reserved as being pests and nuisances to the rest of the natural world. However, when it comes to engineering astonishing architectural feats, these tiny critters are responsible for creating one of the largest colonies ever known. Seriously, this thing is so impossibly large that it currently measures bigger than Britain. As you may imagine, being the size of the United Kingdom, it was quite a shock that this incredible termite colony remained hidden in plain sight until 2018, when it was discovered by an accident by a team of research scientists. In fact, this colony is so impossibly huge that scientists are still trying to determine its exact measurements. Located deep within the jungles of Brazil, the termite colony is a huge network of dirt mounds, some of which are over 10 feet tall and measure over 30 feet wide. While the local population has been aware of these termite mounds for centuries, it wasn't until a team of entomologists surveyed the site that the true extent of the colony was revealed, spread out over a staggering 200 million separate mounds. This astonishing example of insect engineering is believed to be nearly 4,000 years old, begging the question, how deep does this thing really go? Mm -hmm. Caddisfly cases Like the astonishing termite mounds, many insects in the natural world use their incredible engineering abilities in order to protect themselves from would-be predators and the dangers of their wider environment. However, unlike most insects, the ingenious caddisfly creates a defensive case that could be considered as the all-terrain vehicle of the bug world, capable of existing in both aquatic and land-based environments throughout the several stages of its larval life. You see, the caddisfly, which is similar to the mayfly and the stonefly, is an aquatic insect that lives most of its life underwater, and the latter part of it is a winged adult. However, unlike any other insect, the caddisfly uses silk from their body as well as pebbles, sand, and plant material to form their structural support, essentially creating a house of bug-based brick around their bodies while they develop. They'll even use the same silk and sand combinations to create nets that capture food particles from the flowing water. These incredible bugs live as a nymph underwater in streams, rivers, and lakes for as long as two years. 
the whole time safe and sound in their utmost impenetrable case. When they're ready to pupate into adults, they must quickly swim to the surface of the water, where they then emerge and fly off as winged insects. Incredible. <laughs> beaver nests. All right, you're probably thinking, when the heck are the beavers gonna show up? And don't worry, because there's no way that we'd allow these phenomenal woodland engineers to go unrecognized. The fact of the matter is, when it comes to designing incredible homes, beavers are pretty much in a league of their own. But it's not just their propensity for engineering that sets these animals apart. It's their unique ability to affect entire ecosystems. As one of the only animals on the planet that feast almost entirely on trees and bark, the method in which beavers collect the resources to build their homes plays an incredibly important part of many North American and European ecosystems. Primarily native to the United States and Canada, beavers are considered to be the world's largest rodent, often weighing up to 60 pounds and sometimes reaching lengths of over 4 feet. Beavers build their incredible houses on lakes, rivers, creeks and streams, where up to 9 beavers will call the same lodge their home with entire generations contributing to its construction and ongoing maintenance. The beaver lodge is critical to their continued survival as a species, where these amazing animals will use their nests as a place to rest, raise their young, and seek protection against predators. Mm -hmm. Weaver ant nests. Ever had one of those science project type ant nests and wondering how much a tiny creature could create such an elaborate and complex underground kingdom? Well, it's teamwork. While the ant umbrella is a wide and sprawling showcase of incredible builders, it's the weaver ant that stands out as one of the most astonishing engineers of the insect universe, where they've since become known for their remarkable ability for nest construction amongst the leaves and trees of dense jungle ecosystems. Using precise coordination, the weaver ant creates incredibly strong ant chains by linking their legs in order to pull and bend leaves into their desired tent-like positions. Once in shape, the ants then use their own larvae to secrete a type of silk that's used to stitch leaves together to create the nest, almost like a huge tube of super glue. After that's complete, the colony will then repeat the process over and over again, and a single network of weaver ants may have several nests dominating an entire patch of trees at once. Due to their astonishing ability to take over otherwise inhabitable territory, weaver ants have become highly aggressive and territorial creatures. They're so effective that for over 1,000 years, they've been used by indigenous farmers to control agricultural pests. Incredible. <laughs> Cliff Swallow Nests Ever wondered where the worst place to build your home would be? Perhaps on a sandy beach maybe at the bottom of a volcano. Well, how about at the edge of a cliff with nothing but a sheer drop and thin air separating you and your home from the ground? Yeah, that'll do. And while that may sound like an absolutely terrible idea, for one species of bird, constructing their nest at the edge of a cliff is a matter of life or death. As the most colonial species of swallow on the planet, quiff swallows regularly form colonies of between 200 and 1,000 nests, with the largest colony ever recorded having over 3,600 nests hanging off of a cliff edge in Nebraska. Found across the planet, cliff swallows heavily favor living in grasslands, broken forests, and even towns and cities, and will go to extraordinary lengths in to finding the highest and most inaccessible roosts possible for them to establish their breeding colonies. Believe it or not, but cliff swallows will actually sleep in trees for most of the year, but it's not until a breeding pair is established that they'll seek to join a cliff-based colony, which is when they'll begin their construction of these incredible high-rise nests. Trapdoor Spiders Okay, if you have a fear of arachnids, you should probably look away now. Because while most species of spider will simply spin a web in order to trap their unfortunate and unassuming prey, the trapdoor spider employs a different kind of terrifying tactic. Constructing a nightmarish den like something straight out of a horror movie. In what could be considered the jack-in-the-box of the venomous arachnid world, there they'll line their underground home with silk, which helps keep moisture inside their burrow that makes it easier for them to quickly traverse, but also acts as the ultimate trap for unsuspecting prey. 
Each burrow has a trap door with an ingeniously designed hinge that lets it open and close, and the trapdoor spider hangs onto the underside of the camouflage trap door waiting for an unassuming insect or small bird to pass by. A trapdoor spider will live for almost all its life inside these incredible burrows, and the oldest lived arachnid spent a staggering 43 years inside its camouflaged home. Mm -hmm. Bald Eagle Nests While being the powerful and iconic image of the United States of America, bald eagles are also unrivaled masters of creating permanent roosts to raise the next generation of their species. Creating defensive nests is an incredibly important facet of the bald eagle's life cycle, and so both male and female members of the species will construct the nest together, bringing sticks and materials to the area collaboratively before arranging the structure into a viable pattern. During this time, the building of the nest becomes a highly important moment in the bald eagle's bonding process, which usually results in them pairing and mating for life. Talk about an awkward first date, right? As large birds of prey, the nest of the bald eagle is pretty dang huge, with the average newly constructed site measuring around 5 feet in diameter and up to 4 feet deep. Incredibly, each year the adult pair will add 1 to 2 feet of new materials to the nest in order to cater for their expanding brood. Believe it or not, but the largest recorded bald eagle nest, which was located in St. Petersburg, Florida, measured in at 9.5 feet in diameter and was 20 feet deep and weighed a staggering three tons. That's the same weight of an elephant. <laughs> Japanese pufferfish. Imagine constructing a home so mysterious in nature that even the most capable naturalists and scientists couldn't fathom what it actually was for nearly a century. While we may not instantly think of fish building nests, surprisingly, a large number of species will construct a safe space during their mating season, but the Japanese pufferfish does things a little differently. Incredibly, the nesting habits of this one-of-a-kind puffer were so bizarre that scientists couldn't even work out what they were until they actually witnessed their arrangement firsthand. During the first half of the 20th century, a strange series of crop circles on the seafloor were found throughout the deep waters of the Japanese Pacific by scuba divers who were exploring the aquatic region. They were so strange that the first divers believed that they'd stumbled into some strange new specimen of underwater creature, and for years, Theories ranged from bizarre monsters of the deep to underwater civilizations and even aliens. However, as it turned out, this pebble-based sand sculpture was actually the left-behind nesting area of the male pufferfish, which created an elaborate pattern on the ocean floor in order to lure a prospective mate. Hey, that's one way to do it, right? Vogelkop Bowerbird Located deep within the forests of New Guinea and Australia, bowerbirds come in a wide variety of colors and shapes, spread over 20 separate species, all of which display strange and intricate courtship methods and nest building tactics in order to attract their mates. The prime directive of the bowerbird is to collect the most highly colored object they can find and then use it to adorn their newly constructed nest with attractive and unique trinkets. In nature, this has often resulted in bowerbirds using plastic, trash, and other discarded metal materials to create their courtship dens. However, it seems that the Vogelgott bowerbird prefers to keep things more down to earth. Also known as the Gardner Bowerbird, this species is native to the mountains of the Vagokop Peninsula, located in the western New Guinea region of Indonesia, which is renowned for its incredible variety of bright-colored and exotic birds of paradise. Despite that, this bird isn't bright-colored at all, and it's instead a dull olive-brown shade with no ornamental plumage. Don't let that fool you though, because these otherwise average-looking birds collect the most beautiful and unique flowers they can find and then use them to arrange their den into an incredible boutique. Although they may not seem it, deep down, they're some of the most fabulous birds in the world. Hmm. Orb Weaver Spiders If you thought the trapdoor spider was terrifying, we hate to bring it to you, but the orb web spider is even worse. Orb weaver spiders are often rare and elusive creatures, instead preferring to establish themselves in permanent locations where they'll live and hunt for the majority of their lives. Renowned for their beautiful and intricate patterns, all orb weaver spiders are known for the webs that they spin, arranged in spiral wheel-shaped patterns that are common throughout the 2800 variations of the species. The building of these webs are an engineering feat and they begin when the spider floats a line on the wind to attach to another surface, almost like a fisherman casting a line. 
Incredibly, the spider then secures the line and then drops down toward the center, producing a distinctive Y shape that the rest of the web is then constructed on, with a distinctive sticky capture spiral arranged in the center. Nearly every member of the orb weaver family will stay on their webs day and night, waiting for the perfect catch. <laughs> Honey bee hives. While they may not seem it, Honeybees are some of the most underappreciated and incredible engineers on the planet. When you really peel back the ingenious layers that make up a beehive, the lengths that these extraordinary insects go to in designing their homes is a feat in it of itself, highlighted by the intricate and near-perfect mathematical proportions of their hives. Even today, scientists are questioning how the honeybee population is capable of creating such geometric masterpieces and the driving force behind these astonishing constructions remain to be a hotly debated subject. Typically, bees will make their hives in straw, pottery, or wood, and the structure that they create around them is a densely packed group of hexagonal-shaped cells made of honeycomb and propolis, which is a substance collected by the bees from tree buds. They use this amazing glue-like material to fill crevices and seal parts of the honeycomb, forming the elaborate and complex structure that we know as a beehive. The hives themselves are made of six-sided tubes, which are shaped for optimal efficiency in honey production. However, the way these incredible insects instinctively plan and strategically place their colony is still a matter of mystery. But hey, bees are awesome, guys. Montezuma or Pendula while you may think that you've already seen every weird and wonderful bird nest imaginable, you ain't seen nothing like this one. The Montezuma oropendula is a New World tropical icterid bird, native to the Caribbean coastal lowlands that stretch from southeastern Mexico to central Panama. While they're an incredibly interesting species in their own right, deriving their name from the legendary Aztec emperor Montezuma II, it's these birds' incredible and unique hanging nests that truly set them apart. You see, the Montezuma or Pendula is a colonial breeder, which means dominant males oversee a colony of numerous females, leading to their nests becoming clustered in certain areas of treetop canopies. The female members of the species build their nests high in the trees, constructing them from fibers and vines to form a hanging nest that dangles side by side with the others, while the male lauds over his avian kingdom. Typically, there'll be up to 30 of these incredible nests in a single colony, but the largest ever recorded was 172. <laughs> Cathedral termites. Okay, if you thought the country-sized colony of termites was impressive, then think again. Sure, while the underground empire certainly overshadows this one in sheer size, our next entry is quality over quantity. Constructed from mud, plant parts in both termite saliva and feces, the columns of these mounds are extraordinarily tough, and they're able to withstand the devastating rigors of both wind, rain, Australian heat, and hungry predators attempting to invade the colony. In fact, these insects are such master craftsmen that they've earned the name cathedral termites, down to the imposing and monolithic structures that they form their colonies out of. Considered to be some of the most remarkable engineers in the insect world, the cathedral termites create their impressive mounds on the dry plains of the Northwest Territory of Australia, where their structures dominate the landscape and often tower more than 15 feet in height. Yikes, that's tall. Red oven bird nests. And finally, what better way to complete this amazing animal architectural list than with one of the most persevering birds on the planet, the red oven bird, an animal that spends months and months meticulously crafting their nests. Native to South America, like many species of bird, both the males and female oven bird collaborate on their nest construction, and both animals are such master builders that their oven bird's nest resembles an almost impenetrable sphere once completed. Using clay or mud mixed with fiber, hair, and straw, both birds work together to build the walls of their nest gradually during the winter months, allowing the tropical South American sun to bake the mud until it's hard as a rock. After that, they'll add a spherical roof to their new home, before finally building a narrow, curved entrance and dividing walls to create their new breeding chamber. Although the red oven bird spends months constructing their home, it's certainly worth the wait because the result is one of the most breathtaking nests in the animal kingdom. Well, there we have it, the 15 most amazing homes built by animal architects. What'd you guys think? 
let us know your thoughts down below. And as always, thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. You've been watching Missing Files. See you next time.